everyone uh, welcome to class 7 for subject science okay today we will see distance time graph in your previous class i have already told you about how to plot line graph okay so today we will learn how to draw lines on the graph paper and after it we will be knowing कि कैसे इसको करना है सो दिस वन यू कैन सी बाय फॉलोइंग द सम रूल्स फर्स्ट वन इज टेक अ सीट ऑफ ग्राफ पेपर तो फॉर दैट यू हैव टू टेक अ ग्राफ पेपर आफ्टर दैट यू हैव टू ड्रॉ द टू लाइंस परपेंडिकुलर टू ईच अदर ऑन इट दैट मींस कि दिस वन यू हैव टू ड्रॉ एंड ओवर देयर द सेकंड वन परपेंडिकुलर लाइन एंड आफ्टर दैट यू हैव टू नेम इट फर्स्ट वन इज द वाई second uh, it below y axis y dash and second one is x dash dash and this one is x so this one you uh, can say x o x dash that means if this is the x axis and second one is the y o y dash axis okay so in between them a point is there, there you can see this is called the origin and we name it o okay so after that we can see uh, mark the horizontal lines as x o x dash that we have already done it is known as the x axis okay and origin o that is the point between x o x dash and y o y dash that we have already mentioned and the first and the most important thing that i want to tell you it is positive axis so what is that positive axis whatever you see this side and it gives the value of in positive okay and this it gives the positive value okay so in this chapter in your chapter we will talk we will study only about the positive number positive value that's why the positive axis x axis and y axis and the second one and last one actually the, uh, the main point is choose a scale to present the distance and another to represent the time on the graph it means whenever you want to plan a line graph you must know the their scale it means if i have made here you can see i made a line graph you can see the distance and you can see here the time so what i have done in this i have set the ratio first i have set the uh, scale first here means i have uh, mentioned for if one is equal to the one means if 10 minute is equal to the 10 km then i have mentioned it as a one, uh, 5 cm 5 cm i have uh, taken as a scale here in this graph so you can uh, like that you can have the scale first when you have to draw a line graph you first have to clear what is the scale you have to set the scale first okay and some points should be kept in mind while choosing the most suitable scale for drawing a graph r and i will tell you today so how to choose the most suitable scale how to choose the most suitable scale sabse zyada acha kaun hai so for that the difference between the highest and the lowest values of the each quantity means if we have the quantity uh, time and second one is the quantity the distance then we have to mind there the highest and the lowest point okay then only we can be able to uh, you know find out their scale okay and second the intermediate values of each quantity so that with the scale to get it is convenient to mark the values on the graph okay so sir and the next important thing is the intermediate values intermediate values means unke beech ka value kaun sa hai that is uh, quantity ke beech ka so that with the scale jo scale ke sath mein convenient roop se fit ho sake sudhajanak tarike se means this must be uh, as per our graph paper it cannot be uh, you know beyond that uh, okay iske bahar ka nahi hona chahiye okay and the most important to utilize the maximum part of the paper on which the graph is be drawn is to be drawn 
you have to use it proper okay whatever the page is given whatever the area is given you have to follow it you have to use it very efficiently okay and uh, that was your distance sign graph that we have uh, studied today i think uh, you have understand for that uh, just rewrite it just uh, redo okay and i will tell you uh, i want to tell you you have to uh, look this video again and again then only you, you will be able to understand it so uh, topics are there in your chapter that you have uh, to say you have to look that is the bar graph second one is the graph third one is the non uniform motion fourth is the oscillation fifth one is the simple pendulum sixth one is the speed seventh one is the time period eighth one is the uniform motion and the last one is the unit of time so this topic we have uh, taken in our chapter and we have to uh, look one once again okay uh, thanks and have a nice uh, nice day we will see uh, next chapter in the uh, this we will see the next topic of the new chapter in our next video thank you and have a nice day